see it a lot when you see ally versus uh ally versus zero. Alright. Think it's gonna be all smashable again? Uh yes. <laughs> I do. Especially after JJ just had to play NFD four games in a row. Yeah. I don't think he ever wants to see that stage again. Yeah. Not sure if anybody pointed out this is the battle of the flow right now. <laughs> oh, we pointed out all the time. Battle of the hair. Battle of the hair, JJ versus Dan. Alright. Alright, grab, down throw, up air. Very classic nowadays. Alright. Nice little roll read. Dan's been playing great today. Yeah. This, this was a good day. We got to see both Dan and Shell come bring out some, you know, some old school top of their game type of stuff. Oh yeah. And oh. he caves the barrels. <laughs> Dan. Wow, that is a good start for Dan. Dan doesn't need that, uh, doesn't need that forward smash at all. He has cave. All right, gets that grab again. JJ is just like trying to find something right now. Yeah, well now JJ is gonna have to, you know, take a minute, collect himself. It is a best of five. He just had a very intense set with Shell, which he was able to pull out. That game five, he looked very solid. So seeing this JJ, I'm wondering what, I'm wondering if he still feels a little tilted about those Shoryukens. I don't think that's the case. Uh, JJ is a very good player. Uh, he's very good at keeping calm, so he's fine. It's just he got caked. That's the way it yeah. is. A very early KO and. He's had, some, fight back. he's had some unfortunate stylings happen on him <laughs> in the last, you know, in, throughout the evening. But he's still sitting here in grand final, so it's not like it's affected him that much. Yeah. It's been hype for the crowd, though. Oh, yeah. He made it here. I didn't make it here. So, yeah, I can understand it. Probably know something more about this game than I do. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Back throw. See what he does with the recovery here. Yeah. All right, reads Dan's jump up. Oh, oh, the hard forward, forward smash. smash. That almost killed. Yep. Actually, oh, and the down smash will smash. kill. Jade is getting very eager with these monkey flips. You know, that's not going very low on that. You're absolutely right about that. Yeah. He's, he's had a lot of monkey flips that have been very kind of consistently yeah, kind not of questionable. mixed up. Well, that's how Shell was able to take a lead in the last set. Oh, was yeah. he, was, he was reading the monkey flips. JJ brought it back when he started to mix it up. So let's see if he does the same thing against Dan here. Yep. Old training partners fighting off in bracket. It's gotta be a little, uh, it's gotta be difficult. I'm sure Dan's used to the mix-ups that JJ has. Yes and no. I mean, you could say that, but then again, Dan just hit another forward smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. They're, they are used to each other to a degree. It's almost to a fault, to where they'll try to, like, outthink the other one with, like, triple fake-outs <laughs> in their own head. Or it's like, he'll think I'm gonna do this, so I'll do this. But he probably thought that far ahead, so I'm gonna do this, and they'll just keep changing it up and they'll wind up on the option they were, would have normally gone for in the first place. <laughs> Just brings around in a full logic circle. All right, JJ looking a lot better this time. I think right. it's a battlefield. I didn't even notice that. We switched stages. That's oh, and between these two, that's new. Wondering why, wondering why Dan didn't go for the up tilt there. Oh, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's out of percentage right now. I'm sure he knows the percentages very well in this matchup. Forward throw. Good up tilt there from JJ. You don't see that too often. You usually see that go as like a kill option. Because for some reason, Diddy has another kill option as his up tilt. Yeah. But uh, when you see him mix it up like in real time, I love that. Yeah. It's so good for flow. Yeah. I don't understand why up tilt for uh, Diddy has so much knockback. Bro. It always surprises me. Down tilt regrab gets him off stage for the fair. Oh, wow, that was weird. It was like, <clears throat> he goes for the ledge drop and decides to air dodge instead and then winds up up air. You think he's playing scared? No, I think that was a really drawn out out bait. Remember how I said oh, they were trying okay, to like yeah, triple fake each other out? Yeah, That's exactly so the kind of thing you'll see. Uh, it seems like it seemed like he was scared for like the quarter spike, so he's trying to play for the landing lag. That's what I thought he was going for. And going for the up smash on platform. That probably wouldn't have killed, but yeah. would have gotten a decent amount of damage. Yet. Oh, yep, he's going for the fourth spike. Ooh, back throw. I don't think he's gonna do it yet. Back no, throw. not not quite. He's just throwing out those forward smashes now. Oh wow, nice mix up. Oh, good job holding barrels like a couple seconds longer. Yeah, that was a good delay by JJ. It's really hard to like sound time that. Oh, nice down tilt to back air. Yeah, that was an excellent confirm option. I really like that. Throws him off. 
Jen got no problem going deep. Just throws out two up smashes. Seems like we're watching three. Looks like that we're watching Ally right now. But hey, one of them's gonna connect. And one of them's gonna take out that stock. Maybe. But at the right day, JJ has been playing this game. He has really been running this, taking it to Dan this entire game. Yep, Dan's fishing for it right now. Up throw. Goes for the neutral air. Interesting. Wow, down air almost killed. Down air has ex down air has extreme. Uh, actually, has really good knockback. I've learned from Fonz to never question down air. Down air unstealed is a great kill confirm for Mario. All right, and yeah. just for the reverse, like, short hop ba uh, neutral air. That's yeah. quite hit. He can't seem to get a good read on JJ on Battlefield, though. Yeah, JJ's not letting him t letting himself be touched right now. He's gotten to that hyper- Oh, I get trapped. I like that. He just ran at him and forward threw him. He knew what the plan was in general. Yeah. Like, all the way through. Just for the jab. I'd like to see Dan go for another just running grab. I don't think JJ will expect it a second oh, time. he tried it. Because Dan doesn't usually repeat himself in his movements, except when he's fishing for kill moves. I like what Dan did there, just holding down on the up he just, just if, uh, he looked like that, JJ was going to go for that ledge jump, so just trying to make sure that he's safe and shield right there. We saw Dan go for that wall kick on into back air. Oh, and good weight on that air dodge. All right, good, great stuff from JJ, actually, there, to recover himself mentally after all that crazy stuff that happened. Gave him the diddler. All right, so game three, let's see if Dan wants to, I doubt he'll go back to Battlefield, but we'll see if he wants to run it back anywhere specific. Maybe Dreamland, I know Mario likes Dreamland. Nope, Lilat, we're seeing a Lilat. Three, two, one, go! Oh, good second platform. All right, good start here from JJ again. I like the Lilat pick from Dan. Uh, it worked for him last time. And the tilt of the ship, if you grit the grab at the right time, lets you connect with many large combos like so. Yeah. Those small platforms benefit Mario so much. He also protects him. One of the easiest ways to beat Mario is to just never jump. Yeah. You'll hear allies say that occasionally. Like, you can, it's difficult for him to deal with characters that can't jump. So Lilat, um, Yep. You know, gives him, like, kind of the jump opportunities, you know what I mean? I'm wondering how much of this pick was also to, also about, uh, because you just saw right there with JJ with the monkey flip. He was, uh, just because of the tilt of the stage, he wasn't able to complete, like, a full monkey flip. I'm wondering how much of it had to deal with that, and how much of it had to deal with the, uh, Diddy's recovery. Went for the dunk there, didn't quite get it. Alright, up throw up here. <laughs> Not going for those more throws right now. Just held shield on that platform, giving Dan that easy grab. And smart stuff from JJ to mix it up. Oh, is that it? Yep. All right, good stuff from Dan to kind of run this game back. He was actually, it felt like he was, or no, I'm sorry, this, this he was doing fine this yeah. particular game. To just kind of run it back in general, the momentum was kind of shifting away from him until he had that crazy combo to begin this game. Sealing out the stock and putting JJ in kind of a difficult situation here. Every <laughs> that little string right there, he kept seeing them run up every single time they just kept spot dodging. It was finally broken by a Mario Super Jump Punch. Alright, seems like a lot of rolls coming out from JJ, but he's gonna get that down tilt to up smash conversion. Bread and butter diddy stuff. Yeah. JJ looking good. It's good for him to keep this game within reach. Although Dan, man, with every grab, he has just been oh. brutalizing JJ with damage. Yeah, kind of a weird get attack. Uh -oh. And Nair is not going to come through that stage. He upbees him to blow up the barrels, and it gets him. Genius stuff from Dan right there. What a crazy play. Mario. Amazing play from Dan right there. A little bit of that Mario Supreme action on that upbeat. Man, shake up, shake up, that like, oh yeah. That up he beats out like almost everything. All right, well, JJ, hopefully he's not too shake, shaken after that match. He kept it in there, he went for, uh, went for good combos and whatnot. Ooh, he's going to town and Diddy. You know, yes, town and Diddy. <laughs> However, 
up smash with Mario, or even all yes. the forward smashes he's been catching him with. Yep. It's a scary thought. Yep. He's get popped one time, and with the way that Dan's been comboing. Yeah. For a second, when he was on the top platform and he got that up there, I was worried he was going to do a double up air, double down air on that. I was worried for the up beat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, those middle, those middle hits of that uh, super jump punch are the most powerful. I believe it's like two through four or something like that. I think it's the sixth frame out of nine or something weird. Oh, yeah, I forget. All I know is it's the middle hits. Middle hits for sure are the most powerful. Oh, wow. All right, so that was a really good slide and flood to try to force the down smash. Smart from JJ to, uh, to spot dodge that, but that would have been a wicked, wicked kill. Yeah. Dan was trying to call out that monkey flip too, just threw out a forward smash, but JJ kind of just went above it. Dan going for that tomahawk, but JJ saw right through it. All right, so Dan looking like he's in pretty good control this match. Yeah, Dan's been looking pretty solid thus far. Oh, good power shield. Oh, good jab. Oh man, that re-grab, or that re- that re-grab into jab almost landed him a down smash. That's two that JJ has narrowly avoided. Now he's really got to make something of this. Back throw. JJ is slowly trying to rack up damage wherever he can. That is back that throw. Oh, town and city? Nope, not yet. Nope, still town and diddy. Oh, yep. All right. Just a little bit enough. Just enough so Mario can't get that back here. Last possible moment for JJ to let go of the barrels. I was just waiting for that up smash. Reads that air dodge. All right, now suddenly there's a much closer game than it was. Forward smash gonna kill there with room to spare with all that rage. Wow, good stuff from JJ. That goes at an upward angle. Yeah. Um, so on Town and City, if you're on the wrong side of the stage, you're still probably gonna kill off the top with the rage. Yeah. I trying to sneak in there with that back air, and this time he's going to get it. All right. This Possib is a pretty even game. Oh, this puts uh, JJ on his possible tournament stock yep. for the entire tournament. Dan is one stock away from taking home Ignition 61. All right. Oh, Dan just kind of looked confused. He rolled behind when he when he got locked into the rapid jab, and he just throws out a forward smash. I feel like he could have gotten a better punish on getting a grab or something. All right. Find the neutral. Up throw. Oh, but gets a balloon. Oh, gets a jab block. Is that it? That might be it. And a wow. jab block is going to take the set. All right, great stuff there from Dan. Getting reads across the board as he powers his way through winners and inevitably wins grands three to one. Congratulations to E2C Dan getting first place at ignition number 61. Good stuff from JJ Rockets getting second place. E2C Shell finishing in third. And you are Big Mac, I believe, Mac, finished yeah. fourth place. Yep, good stuff to all of them. Very exciting sets. Um, also, good stuff to Shell for pulling out the pulling out the Luigi and getting one of the craziest or the craziest amount of sure you can kills that I've seen in tournament too. Um.